What's up guys, HackOSI here with the third video in the installment of Star Wars The Old Republic Mimic Video Bot Guides. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to record um, the paths that the bot is going to use to navigate the area. Um, in the last video, we set up our action bars, we got kind of familiar, uh, excuse me, um, familiar with our config file. So now we're going to go into our path settings. And this menu is where you're going to be loading your paths once they're done recording. So you get a little familiar with that. Your patrol path, this is the path the bot follows to fight stuff. Resurrection paths are exactly what they sound. They are paths that take the bot from where you resurrect back to your uh, fighting area. And a return to town path will take you from your fighting area to your vendor. Okay? Go ahead and click Function and Path Record. And this menu is going to pop up. Makes sense. Go ahead and click New Path. And we're going to name this Trooper Attack 1. And hit Yes. Go ahead and click Start Capture when you're ready to start recording your waypoints. Um, the thing you do not need to do is you do not need to record yourself getting into combat. Um, for example, if you are melee, you do not need to record yourself walking up to the monster or enemy to fight it. Um, engaging in combat is a default option from the bot. All you need to do is record your waypoints. So just kind of watch. I'm going to go ahead and click Start Capture. And I'm going to walk a path. Now I know that the bot is going to engage these in combat. So I'm going to kill them and get them out of my way. But I'm not moving while I kill them, if you notice. Because I don't want the bot to record all those waypoints. I just want it to follow the path that I have set for it. So I'm just going to record this simple path. And I'm going to make a circular path, which means I'm going to start and stop at the same point. In almost like a big circle. As you can see, I'm not engaging any of these in combat until I have to, because they're in my way. Kill these dudes off. And I'm good to go. And now I'm just recording the ending part of my path, which is going to reconnect me with where I started. As you can see, I went through here to start the path. So now I am just going to stop the path. And bring up the bot menu. Click Stop Capturing. And when I'm done with this path, I'm going to hit save and quit. So now that path has been saved. That's the basic idea of recording an attack path. Now, we are going to record a two-town path. And we'll call it Trooper to Town 1. This path needs to go from an intersecting point in your attack path, which is right here, it's just fine, to your vendor. So I'm going to hit start capture. I'm going to walk my dude. Right to my vendor. And click stop capture. When I'm done with that path, I hit save and quit. In addition to recording this path, you're going to need to enable sell items, sell after returning to town, and as you have the NPC highlighted in game, click get NPC. This will add the numerical value of the NPC to your game. And hit save and quit. Now the last type of path that we're going to record is a resurrection path. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to kill myself. And then we will record a path of me 
running back to get resurrected. Easiest way to record a res path is indeed just to kill yourself. So I'm gonna run into these group of dudes over here and hopefully they will kill me. Cool. So I'm just gonna stand here for the 20 or 30 seconds that it takes them to kill me. Almost dead. So as soon as I die, I'm going to choose the bottom option, which is going to be a return to medical center. As you can see, that's popped up, so I'm going to go ahead and return to the med center. Okay, as soon as it's ready, there we go. Now the same thing, we're going to go function, path record, new path, we're going to call it trooper res 1. And the same idea, start capture, you're going to record yourself going from where you resurrect, back to an intersecting point in your attack path which is right here. Go ahead and stop capture. And as soon as you're done with that path, go ahead and save and quit. Now, we've just used all three of these path recording functions. Now we're going to load them. Go ahead and open your config, go to path settings, the loop control type, each one of these is going to bring up a menu. These are some of the paths that we just uh, recorded. Trooper attack. Trooper resurrect. And my trooper to town. These look a little different because these are paths I made earlier, but it's the same idea and then save and quit and then you're ready to hit start on the bot and as you notice the bot will run around and kill stuff evidently it's going to try and loot something first but that's fine it was an old corpse but you see the idea he's going to run around and he's going to kill dudes spin around for a second. So yeah, you see him using my three and four abilities as they come up. Um, as the bot comes out of combat and needs to rest, it will use your two ability. So there's no need to configure that. Um, your rest settings are the only thing you need to configure with that. As you can see, my bot is just going to keep running around and getting into trouble and gaining experience. The next video will be a very short video, um, just de detailing some of the in-game settings that you need to enable to maximize your body experience. You're now good to go ahead and move on to the final guide and the final video.